Um, another one, containments. Uh, we already actually separated this. Just In this case, we use binder clips. I always carry them in my bag. You're always ready for whatever you need to get through. And obviously, if the containment was closed, you wouldn't be able to stitch it together from one scan to the next. So we already got that ready. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our first scan right now. Um, obviously not ideal that Seth and I are standing so close to the camera. We all know that you need to be probably about 15 feet away. But Yeah, when, you, when you're starting your scan, do you want all the doors and everything open? Everything needs to be prepared and remain exactly the same as you stitch each scan together. What do you look for in contents? So in contents, and I'm going to go ahead and start the scan while we're talking, um, you know, we're documenting as much as we can for what we do in addition to um, the mutually interested parties. But for contents, armoire doors, drawers in cabinets, everything where we can see more inside of something is useful to us. Um, in addition to um, all the other forensic uh, photography that we actually use in documenting losses. Um, so we got one scan to go, possibly it'll take, being that we stood so close, possibly not. Anyways, we will continue to move through this, right to the other side, and it took, boom. Just like a door, every time we go through doors, we go one before and one right after, so we treat containment in the same way. 